it is Williams in the purple and Amherst in the white. Unbeaten Amherst and once beaten Williams. The Eves lead the series 61-44 with five ties. Last year, we upset beat Amherst at Amherst 19-13. It's the oldest Division III rivalry in all of college football. It is the fourth oldest overall. For the football team, and they're certainly in field goal position yep. should they not make a first down. That's an element for Williams that has been a problem. Sapino has to scramble and may get into the end zone and does! Touchdown, Sapino just danced from 11 yards out. Didn't see much there. I don't know. That could, I guess, have been a planned quarterback draw, but it looked a lot ad lib. And Sapino has the touchdown for Williams, the first touchdown given up all year in the first half by Amherst. Well, first and goal from the three yard line for Amherst. Eye formation behind Willard. Two tight ends, handoff for Byrne, and Byrne goes into the end zone on his feet and it's a seven to six ball between the nose of the football and the goal line and they hand it off to mcadam and again they're indicating this in this time the man in the striped shirt does as well and so will i touchdown williams 13 to 7 and for an amherst team that had not given up a touchdown in the first half all season long and now to have given up two I don't know, maybe you begin to think a little bit, North. It's first and goal for Williams. Sapino fakes the handoff, throws the pass. It is complete touchdown Cleary. Williams is up by two touchdowns. 20 to seven, and the extra point try coming up by Colin Vataha, who is two for two for his football career in tries from placement. Vataha from the 25 will make it a 35-yard field goal, and it's good! It break a streak. 17 consecutive games without a successful field goal, and Colin Vataha has come on to kick three extra points and the field goal, and the lead for Williams goes to 24 to seven with a minute and 24 seconds to go in the half. Almost have to go into the end zone or in the vicinity of the end zone. Byrne is the man in motion. To the shotgun, Willard. And I have to unleash it and does to Quigley at the three. Touchdown, Amherst. Amherst with just seconds left. Goes the length of the field and they've pushed one in. And that's got to be a huge boost for the Lord Jeffs heading into half. Score is Williams 24, Amherst 17. Third. On second and ten, throws, it's Barnacle, touchdown! Drilled a line drive to Barnacle at the goal line, and he spun in for the touchdown. Left side is Quigley, right side is Haggerty. Willard drops back to the ten-yard line into the end zone, and it is complete. Touchdown, Haggerty. Amherst has taken the lead for the first time in the game. Second down and ten. For the Eve men, Sapino throwing long for Segrist, has him there. It is complete at the 28-yard line. Sapino steps back into the lineup, fires a bomb complete to Segrist, and has Williams in position to do some damage. Let's watch. I, don't, I think that was a missed handoff. You know, he just didn't look like, normally if you make that fake, you'll look the other way. And Vataha, with the extra point, is still perfect for his career. Full house in the backfield. Sapino has used the quarterback sneak effectively all during the afternoon. Handoff and in for the touchdown for Williams is Paul Beta. The first time he's carried the game all afternoon, number 37. And Williams moves back into the lead by six. McAdam is in the backfield along with Storrs. Sapino, the pitch to McAdam, or to Storrs rather, Storrs to the five and powers in for the touchdown. Williams goes in front by 13. Another first and 10 for Amherst. Just when it looked like they were out of it, here they come to the end zone. Quigley is the in touchdown. It's a one touchdown game. We have an extra point or who knows, a possible two point conversion. Amherst was down on the canvas. Needing a touchdown and an extra point to tie. Touchdown and two to win. Back goes Willard. Has a man out there, thrown long. Touchdown!
touchdown! It's the touchdown that sets up the tying extra point. Liam Fleming for the tie. They fake it. Throw for the two. He's oh, open. Boy. And Amherst goes up by oh, a point. Boy. All alone in the end zone. Todd Haggerty. Nobody paid him no mind. Still, Never even entered my mind. There's still a minute and 43 seconds to play. Back goes Sapino for Williams. And he's mobbed and mugged at the 10-yard line. Williams is out of the huddle very quickly. Catches the Amherst defense wow. unawares. But they are set now. Second down and a long way. Draw play, stores, rips it up the middle, gets hit and taken down at the 29-yard line, still seven yards short of a first down. Stores in motion. Everybody's a receiver. Sapino throws it. It's incomplete. Intended for Ian McAllister. Had it in the hands and it just popped loose. Last chance for the Eath men. It's fourth down and Sapino is back to throw to keep it alive. Has it complete. Out to the 42-yard line. Segrist to the 50 and out of bounds. And the Amherst venture in a flag is thrown right at the point where he was driven out of bounds. Yeah, they may get 15 more. We may have Vitaha with a chance to really be a hero before this is all over. <laughs> they don't kick a field goal for 17 games. They've kicked two in this game. Uh, no, they've kicked one, one. One they took off the board. He's kicked two. One they took off the board. And he's, he may have a chance here to win the football game. I told you, field goal kick would be important in this game. Here it is, first and 10 for Williams at the Amherst 35. And Sapino keeps it. He's coming up field to the 20 yard line, still going. Sapino to the 15 and inside the 15. Unbelievable. 38 seconds to go. That, from where they stand now, is a lot of time. Hey, listen, lots of times in these things we say unbelievable. This stuff is unbelievable. <laughs> This is unbelievable with an expletive. McAllister, wide left. Likewise, Segrist. And the pitch to Storrs. Blockers heads the right side. He gets out of bounds, picks up yardage down to around the 10-yard line. The clock, 24 seconds to go. Again, Segrist and McAllister are the wide receivers left. Eye formation behind Sapino. Zapino gives the handoff to the short man, the fullback. That's McAdam. Punches just inside the 10-yard line. They have McAdam a little bit to the right. Back to throw. Zapino has some time. The pass is tipped. It's incomplete. There are seven seconds to go. And here comes Colin. But most of them pretty solidly. This would be a 26-yard field goal. Snap. Kick. Dead center. Wow. Williams up by two, 48-46, but Williams has to kick off. You know, he's really hammered every one of them today. You had to think he had a pretty good chance. He's got a pretty good, uh, he's got pretty good genes in him, not to spit the bit in that situation. You know, he's, his dad was a pretty good football player in the National Football League and a great college football player at Stanford. So the genes are there to be able to make a gut check kick at the end of the football game. And Vataha, who has kicked them well all game long, he has just smoked the ball through the uprights. Even that 36-yard kick, Tommy, he smoked that one well through. So there wasn't any question. He had enough leg and he had the nerve for it too as he hammered that one through. I'm telling you, that split the uprights and cleared the bar by about 30 yards. I can't believe this game. That two-point play was the most unbelievable thing I've seen, and I can't remember being more surprised by anything that happened on an athletic field than that call to go for two-point play that just the guts of a burglar by Coach Mills in that situation, and then no quit in the dog at all. That Williams team drives down the football field, aided by a 15-yard penalty and a clutch pitch and catch between uh, Sapino and uh, Segrist, and they take the football down, and then right at the bottom of the old Watch gut, Bataha hammers one right through the slot <laughs> to make it 48-46. I mean, what oh could happen my. in this game that hadn't happened? And Paul Welp. We still have two seconds to play. Paul Beta will kick off, and he squibs it down the field. Let's see if there's any more magic. They're going to lateral. Just keep lateraling it. A little bit of rugby happening, and the football game is over. Williams has won one of the most remarkable football games you will ever see, but you know that because you've just seen it. Look at the scene on the field. And there is Mr. Sapino's half-naked brother out in the middle of the field with the rest of the throng. Let's just watch it.